Okay, in today's video, we are going to learn how can we use configuration in a, configurations and design tables in SOLIDWORKS to create a series of very similar parts. Let's say that we are working for a company that makes washers or flanges, and that we need to make a bunch of essentially a metal, let's say, aluminum rings, but that they will all look more or less the same with the different dimensions that they have a thick, different thickness, they have a different outer diameter, different inner diameter, and some of them may also, like the large one, may have some bolts hole. Now the question is, do I need to, and let's say that I start with the five of those. The question is now, do I need to make this drawing part five times, or can I make this model actually at once, and then create an intelligent way to build the other parts by changing the dimensions? And the answer is yes, and that's what in SOLIDWORKS is used by design tables and configurations. So we are going back to a SOLIDWORKS now, and we are in a part mode, and I'm going to switch to the MMGS for this particular exercise, and all what I have to do to derive all of those configurations that I've just seen here, to make all of this table of, let's say, like from a very small one millimeter thick by five millimeters inner diameter and 10 millimeters other diameter to a large one of 10, 50, and 75. And with some formula here, we will need just to create a tables and then populate the table. So let's start making the flange 0, 0, 0, 0, which will be 1, 5, and 10. So I'm going to start sketching on a front plane, just the axis, vertical center line my axis of revolution, and I'm going to make a rectangle, and according to the model, I'm going to specify that the thickness of that rectangle is a 1, and that the Inner diameter according to the model is that's number B, that's B, that's 5 millimeters. And that the outer diameter according to the model is a 10 millimeters. And I will call this to be the, and I'm going to make this two to be the, these two points should be called their hearts. This is now fully constrained sketch for revolution, and I will call this one to be my model 000. Let's say 1023 carbons. Okay, so I revolve it. And here is my first model of the wash. Now, instead of making all of the other washers, all what I have to do, I have to insert the design table, and then I have to populate this design table with the different dimensions, and it will automatically create. And I'm going to save this as a flange. Flange configuration. To start generating configuration, we will go into the tables, and the tables will be under insert table, and there is an option called design table, and I will left click, so under insert tables, design table, and it has a pen which open on a side, and auto create, choose the auto create, click OK, And what will happen now, SOLIDWORKS is going to extract which dimensions exist, which I can use to get the, to get the, this populated. So I will use the dimension one, dimension two, and dimension three, because D1 at revolve is just angular dimension of 360. So I will choose those three dimensions and click OK. 
And I will call this configuration 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we have a configuration 0, 0, 0, 1. And my next configuration, I'm just going to enter my values A, B, and C. And the next one is 5, 5, 10. 5, 5, 10. Then I have a configuration that I called 0, 0, 0, 2. Pardon, the next one I may call some other name. I can call it like, let's say, configuration Mickey. So it doesn't need to be numerical. And the configuration Mickey is 5, 10, 5, 10, and then three, three times thickness. So like in any Excel spreadsheet, I can enter a formula by typing equal and type three times thickness. And the thickness is a D1. And now I have another configuration here that I want to call the whatever common and that will be 10, 50 and 50 times 1.5. 10, 15 and diameter times 1.5. And the last configuration that I'm going to do is going to be configuration with holes. And configuration, in this one I will manually add the bolt pattern, 5, 50, 80. Okay. 5, 50, 80. Now, we have entered this in a Excel type spreadsheet which is embedded inside SolidWorks. If I click anywhere in a modeling Windows area with the left click of the mouse, what will happen? SolidWorks have generated all the models for me. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, Mickey, Common, and with holes. Now, how can I switch through? How can I browse through different configurations? If I see here this many, by default, I'm in a feature managers which shows me the features on a design tree. If I go to the tab, which is called Configuration Manager, it will now show me a tree with a table from which we have all of the derived configurations. And let me click that I want to see, let's say, Configuration 0001. I just right click on it and see Show the Tree Item. It will, pardon. Just double click on it and here is that configuration common which was very thick. Here is my configuration 0001. <coughs> here is configuration Mickey. And here is configuration with holes. Now if I want to modify the configuration with holes, all what I will need to do, I will need to make inside this configuration the holes and I will place a hole wizard and let's see where is my hole wizard is here and I'm going to make the standard hole and that holes according to the specification will be five millimeters thick from the asymmetric and that will be a hole of five and the bolt circle for that hole is going to be at 70 millimeters so i will place a position from the center, from the coordinate origin. And I'm going to place that this is at the diameter 70, or it's 35. And the two items should be vertical. And now what I can do, I can do a ring. I can array this item in a circular pattern around the center in a six 
according to my specification. And here are my six holes, which now belongs to a configuration which is called with holes. And if I go to that particular feature, change the scope of this feature to be just the inside one configuration or to be a global. If I go to a configure features, as you can see by my current configuration, all the features are global. So I don't want to have this feature in other configurations. I want this feature to have it only in a configuration with holes. So this will be a suppress in every other. Actually, it was already suppressed. Sorry. It was suppressed in every other except in a with the holes. And if we click apply, OK. Now I can go back to my configurations. Let me see configuration 0, 0, 0, 0. Of course, there is no holes. Configuration. 0, 0, 0, 1. Now holes configuration common. That's my initial configuration Mickey. And configuration with holes, hold the whole scene. So essentially, we only have to drill to make one single model. And we have created the five models by driving a table. We can always go back to the table by clicking on it, opening that design table, right click, edit table. Here is our edit table. And if we want to create a new configuration, all what we have to do is to enter, let's say configuration 0003. And that configuration can be like a 2, maybe 60. 120, let's say something like that, and configuration 0, 0, 0, 4, 10, 20, 30, for example. And we close them. It will build the two new configurations. And we can go and see them just by right clicking, show configuration. And because we started that configuration from the configuration with holes, we can also see the scope of that configuration, scope of the features. We can actually suppress those holes inside the features. So if I edit, if I go back and I go to the feature property, configure feature, I can also suppress it inside my new configurations because it will always inherit from everything that I started as I suppress them in. Now I have my configurations three and configurations four. Done. Now, if I want to make a derived configuration of the configuration, I can use one of the configuration as a parent. Let's say I want to make on a configuration four, maybe I want to make like the some cut here. I will right click on the name of configuration and then I will left click on add derived configuration and configuration and I will call this one 0004 dash let's say cut and you can put a description for example yeah quick Now, all what I have to do in that particular configuration, if I open it, you can see that it looks like a directory and I do have this new item here. And if I make, let's say, if I make something just as an example, if I make just a cut here. I can again manage that particular extrude by right clicking on it and click left click on configure features. And I can see that it is suppressed in any other configuration except in my configuration 004 cut, where it is not suppressed. And click OK. 
And now I have also this configuration. So I can generate entire catalog of products by significantly reducing amount of time and possibilities to introduce an error of rest catching and recreating models just by deriving a configuration and changing the dimensions which has to be changed and adding the features in the right configurations. And this concludes this short demonstration.